Hello guys, in today's video we will create isometric boxes with text on them in Adobe Illustrator. First we need a shape, a square. You can always change the size of it or the color after you turn it into an isometric design so it doesn't really matter but I'm just trying some options a lighter one maybe then choose it go to effect 3d and extrude and be well. Don't forget to click preview to see the changes you are creating. Now you have an isometric text. You have a lot of options here, but you can see this doesn't really look right. This looks 3D, but not isometric. What we will use today is this part, isometric part, and choose isometric right. We have different shading options too. You can always try them, but we will use plastic shading, and this step is what you need to care at the moment. You can make it something that feels right when you look at it. I will lay I left other options untouched because I think it looks right at the moment. and place it in the corner then copy it and place it again I'll do them one by one if there's an easier way I really don't know that's how I do but You need to, you might need to zoom in to be sure that the cube is in the right place because if it's not, it will affect the rest of it and we don't want it. I'm just going to move it. Again, copy, paste, place, and of course zoom in so you don't have a blank spaces between cubes. I don't even know if those are really cubes, but anyway, you can copy more than one to accelerate the process. It's kind of like a puzzle. When we end up with placing the cubes, we will also see how to change the color. It's really useful because at first when you choose a color you don't know how it's going to look when you apply 
the 3D effect on it. But you can always change it, so that's okay. Zoom in again, as I said, it's, it's really important when you are working with isometric shapes. The last ones, we are nearly done. And the last one for now. <laughs> Actually, it's not the last one you'll see. Yeah, we pretty much done it. Now, when you choose the square, if you change the color of it, ta da! Here we have a yeah, it's done. And if you change it, the effect will apply it to all the other sides we are able to see from this view. And I'll just try some different colors to see which one works for me but I like this part tone and green also looks right too but the dark one is more powerful and a light one maybe but I didn't like this color at all. Maybe white. It's kind of cute, but I still, <laughs> I'm still. Now, here we have the text. I'll give it a little try. Create a rectangle and So here we are with the white one again, but I, I'll change it to the dark shade, like this. Now we need to, we need text, and the thing is you have to create them separately, so you can give them different effects. Write anything you like. This one is a little cliche but it's so appealing. appealing. Change the color to some lighter tone and copy it just in case. Now then we have one more missing and go to effect again to 3D extrude and viewable. Click preview and we will make the depth zero. So it will look like if it's really 
on the box or out of the box <laughs> and place it wherever you like this looks cute I want this to be in a different side go again to the same place make the depth zero but this time we will use isometric left instead of right I cut outside into two parts so it will look more realistic again effect 3d extrude b wall preview of course that's zero and isometric right okay place it there is no rule in placement you just try and if it looks right for you, it's right. Obviously it didn't look right for me, so I'm still trying. And I want the D to be on a brand new side of the box. Can affect 3D but this time we will place it on the top like this you have seen when you say isometric bottom it looks darker it's because the illustrator change its color by where you place it and the last one the same thing again but left I couldn't okay there you have it looks good but I think it, le it, need a, it needs a little zoom out but I couldn't do it because this place was empty so I'm filling them so I can zoom out a little choose them all and place it but when you change its size you can see they all behave on their own so you need to choose them again go to object expand appearance and just clean your working area a little then choose them all again now you can rescale it properly and the rest is completely up to you what you want to do with it you might even delete some of the boxes and create a different scene it's up to you now you know how to do it and we are going to mask it the 
this is the last look, but I will probably change it for the thumbnail. But there you have it. We ended our video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, give it a thumbs up and 